We often hear the question, what is the point of the monarchy? And it's often followed by accusations that they're entitled and out of touch, costly and subject to scandal after scandal. And while those stories are the ones which most often hit the papers, there's a lot more to it. The whole point of being a senior working royal is that there's a mountain of duty which comes with the job description. The senior members of the royal family busily lend their weight to various charities, organisations and events. The Queen, for example, was renowned for her charity work and numerous patronages. And part of the reason so many people are irritated by the Sussexes is that they appear to want all the glitz of being a senior working royal without any of the legwork. The most interesting example, though, is Princess Kate. And while she has taken on less patronages, she has focused on areas which are close to her heart. This week, Kate published an op-ed in the Financial Times about how investing in early childhood is a down payment on all our futures. Kate has launched her own campaign called Shaping Us, which focuses on the importance of early childhood care and education and how it ought to be prioritised due to its benefit to the community. By personally bringing this issue to the pages of a newspaper, Kate crosses the divide between the royal family and everyday Britons. She speaks directly to the people about what is important to them and in her own subtle way justifies her existence. She shows Britons that there's a net benefit for them because she champions and seeks to promote something which benefits families and which people even more broadly generally recognise as important to a good and functioning society. If we cast our minds back to Princess Diana, she greatly endeared herself to the public because she cared about issues which the public cared about. And that's why she was known as the People's Princess. And while Kate is taking a similar approach, she's also very much shaping her own path. She's championing an area which she's passionate about and which is conveniently wholesome, caring and uncontroversial. Ultimately, it's imperative for the royal family to show they can connect with Britons rather than set themselves apart from them. If they wish to remain in a positive light, they have to be seen to pay a dividend to the British public.